policy only it was a different ratio instead of a hundred to one it was ten to one so you know they were nicer <laughs> oh my but I don't think they can get away with it you know already they they've uh, the number of you know Palestinians who are bombed and who die every day has been reduced maybe because they've run out of targets but Nonetheless, it's been reduced. But the problem is the food aid is not being allowed into Gaza. It's being blocked at the crossing point in Rafah by some Zionist fanatics who have set, you know, squatted on the road in front of the, the trucks. And, and the soldiers are turning the trucks back because of the protesters. Yeah. And, but they also shoot anybody who gets near their borders. So like... Yes, but there's a march coming from Cairo that the international volunteers are organizing right now. So we're gonna we're organizing a march. We say it's going to be a hundred thousand, but you know, starting on March second from Cairo down to Rafa along the uh, Mediterranean. See what happens. And then there's uh, the the International Court of Justice, you know, and the Security Council. It's still it's still the United States is still videoing a ceasefire third time. So it'll have to go to the General Assembly and overrule. The veto power is going to be abolished by the General Assembly. I don't think they're going to allow it. Though, I, don't, I don't see the U.S. actually doing much in this case, like, because there's money to be made, quite, quite frankly. But um, I do appreciate how uh, other countries, most, of, most notably the European ones, are, are looking to take sanctions against, against uh, the, the Israel uh, the Israeli, uh, the regime. Yeah, yeah maybe. Because but yeah, Israel is very strongly motivated because you know they have. The gas offshore from Gaza, which is 1.3 trillion cubic meters, and the worth of 500 billion dollars, and they want to put a canal through Gaza to the Mediterranean down to the Red Sea as an alternative to the uh, Suez Canal. Well, that's just that's just the gas industry. It's worth money no matter what, how you look at it. You know, gas. Money. I mean, if, if if you know the Palestinians were independent, they would be rich, you know, with all that gas there. To liquefy, you know, to supply all of Europe, you know, just paying, you know, for for costly American liquefied gas. And if, if they want to build a, you know, a canal, you know, down to the Red Sea, you know, they would have to be together with Israel. Then both could profit immensely, you know. But no, they're not doing it. Oh well. Terrifying situation. Okay, my name is Abraham. What's what's your name? Gabriel. Gabriel. Okay, very good to meet you. Okay. I'll be here next Sunday as well. Every I, Sunday. I, I only I only came here for the for the Holocaust Museum? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, you got my contact. You know you can I have a lot of stuff up on Facebook and uh, YouTube. I'll probably watch your video. Very good. Okay. Have a good day. Yeah, same to you. No genocide in Gaza. So it's about 4 15, 4 20 now. I'll stay until 5 o'clock. Not in our name. No genocide in Gaza allowed. Not in our name, no genocide allowed in Gaza. No genocide allowed in Gaza.
not in our name, no genocide allowed in Gaza. No genocide allowed in Gaza. rather quiet now. Yes, uh, well, she looked. No genocide allowed in Gaza. Not in our name. No genocide allowed in Gaza, not in our name. Not in our name, no genocide allowed in Gaza. No genocide allowed in Gaza, not in our name. I'm getting cold. You're getting cold? Yeah. Can I leave soon or? Yeah. Right. Yeah, wow. Well. You had a good day? Yeah, a couple of people came up uh, to talk. Or one girl came up to talk to debate, you know, like she thought she knew like everything there was to be known. So she was going to tell me what she knew.